Hello world, welcome to the 55th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fifth video in my uh, SQLite playlist and we're going to be uh, working on the remember function that we've done in a previous video. Uh, if you if this isn't, uh, if you didn't come to this video from the playlist and this is the first time you're um, watching this playlist or this video, uh, just a reminder of why I'm doing this project and that's because my father passed away from Alzheimer's when he was only in his 50s and it kind of scared me so it motivated me to create my own digital memory. And so today we're going to expand on our remember function in the previous video we were able to add a photo to the database and in uh, the video before that which I'll put a link in the description we were able to uh, search by terms so um, what did we want to remember and then we put in a specific term and then it gave us memories that have that term in it so let's check that out we're going to so what are you trying to remember so the Dow Jones has been acting crazy and I like to invest. So let's check out the Dow and see, uh, there we go. Quite a bit of memories I've been inputting. So uh, I talk a lot about the Dow Jones because that's important to me. Those are good memories to keep. So that's what we did in the third video. Again, I'll put a link in the description. And in this video, we're going to be searching by dates. And not by specific dates, but more like if I was having a conversation with myself and I wanted to remember things. So we're going to be using one of the most basic Python libraries called DateTime to do this. And a little bit of string manipulation. And so let's first, let's check it out. So what are you trying to remember? So I'm, I'm going to do this two ways. What did we do yesterday? So uh, the Dow Jones dropped uh, almost 3,000 points or 12%, so did the under indices. And I had another day of telework, as you can see from the facial hair. So let's try this again. That was what did we do. So uh, let's try uh, what happened yesterday. Same thing, but this time, or same thing, the Dow Jones dropped. You can read it. So you'll notice that it's just giving me the memory and not the date and not where it says null, which means there was no photo for this memory. So what happens if we ask for something out of range? So uh, what happened last week? So it's looking for a specific day, and I'll show you why it's saying there's no memory stored on that specific day. Alright, so that's pretty much it for uh, now. So let's go into the code. So we're in this remember something function from the third video. And we created a remember term. What are you trying to remember? By getting the input, and we're going to make this lowercase now since we're doing some string manipulation. So if this remember term starts with, right, dot starts with, that's a um, Python string manipulation, what did, or if it starts with what happened, then we're going to call this function, or then we're going to create this uh, variable called date intent. It's going to be a string, and we're going to do this function called get date intent and pass it remember term that we just started up here. All right, so I am importing this from my own Python um, function or project called date analysis because I'll probably use it in quite a lot of uh, other projects. So let's check that out. So we're going to import date and time delta from date time. I guess I could uh, just put a comma here and do both. I'll do that on off screen. So then we're going to get date intent. This is the function we're calling in the SQL memory project. Remember term. And the very first thing we're going to do is establish what today is using date.today. 
And then if this remember term, so if yesterday's in remember term, we're going to get the date intent, which is today, minus or less the time delta, which is a function of the date time library, days equals one. So the delta is one. So today, the delta between today and one is yesterday. Right? It's not a negative one, it's a positive one. If you do a negative one, it's tomorrow, like this. Tomorrow, I have this commented out because I won't ask myself, what did I do tomorrow? Right? That makes no sense. So tomorrow is today minus the time delta days equals minus one. So I can make this plus and make this a negative one, I guess. It just depends on your order of operations. And then we're going to return date intent. So I also made one for this time last year. I can imagine as my memory database grows, I would ask myself, if you will, uh, what did we do this time last year? And so this is uh, current year equals today dot year. So we established today up here. And then we're just going to get the year. And then for 2020, it's a leap year. So what I wanted to do was filter out leap year or not a leap year. So if the current year, which we just established, divided by 4, so this is the modulus function, equals 0, right? So if a year is divided by 4, divisible by 4, and it has a modulus of 0, that's what this is. Then the days in the current year is 366, right? The 29th of February. Else, it's 30, 365. So the date intent is today minus the time delta of days in current year. So today minus 366 or 365 will give us the uh, this time last year. Last week, which you saw, is just minus 7 days. And then either way, it's going to return date intent. And then, or it's going to print nothing. But I handle that back here. And that's pretty much it. It's one of the most basic libraries in Python. I'm not a tutorial channel. So make sure you uh, do a tutorial on date time. Because it's one of the basic functions you need to learn. So going back to here, into our remember something. So we are going to pass a string of this date intent, and then we're going to do a c.execute. Again, this code's not going to make sense, so please watch my playlist from video one up until now, where the date stamp is this variable called date intent, and then we're just going to fetch one. In a previous video, you've seen us fetch all, which is what we did just earlier when we looked for the DAO. And then we printed every row. But this time we're just going to look for the specific memory. So we're going to try to print the specific memory and just the first column, or in our case, the zero, or in the, um, this is the second column if you were to go into our database, our SQLite database. Remember in programming, especially with Python, the first column is zero, the second column is one, okay? So the memory is stored in the second column or the first index. If we get a type error, then we're going to print out no memory stored on that specific day. And that's pretty much it. So I uh, pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see me continue building my own digital assistant. And like this video if you liked it. And leave a comment and tell me if what you're working on with SQLite. I imagine most of the people who are going to watch this have gotten here organically by searching Python and SQLite. So I'm hoping that you're working on a comment or a project. So please leave a comment and tell me what you're doing with SQLite. And thanks. Goodbye world.